Okay, so I open up this menu and like click on random items to just like make sure the sound syncs up. And I didn't know that after 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 your transformation in the last episode, the hand actually becomes like Fran's tree hand. That's neat. Welcome back everybody to Let's Play Franbo. In the last episode we became a dryad. And also we found out the person who can help us get out of here is apparently living on a mountain somewhere. And so we are setting off to find this guy, I guess. Well, here's the bug that brought us, uh, that brought us to the doctor. No, no, you can't get in. It's closed. Oh, closed? I didn't know. Let's find this passage. Well, the library, of course, but it's closed. Come back in fall or winter, then it will be open. Hey, aren't you the talking tree I've by toad to see Palantras? That's me. Yes, that's me. Palantras gave me these arms and legs. Yes, and also a head. That's very positive. <laughs> yes, but why is the library closed, sir? Well, that's logic. As the sun goes around the second moon of Aethersta, we're open. Only the real knowledge will be learned. And that only happens in fall and winter. Oh, so you don't learn anything while you're in the summer or spring? Of course we learn. We learn all the time. I'm learning now that you like to ask many questions. Well, I'm curious, that's why. Everything looks so different here in Ithrista. I guess you're not from around here. Well, I hope to see you soon. Yes, thank you, sir. Bye! Well, that was pleasant. This place is very pleasant. Not to mention just like... I'm not going to lie, I kind of really love the aesthetic of this place. Mike is waving very hard. Hello to you. Aww. What's this? What does it say? Oh, right. Because, uh... Right, the king told us that we can speak it in Etherston, but we can't read it, which is unfortunate. Maybe we can ask this nice lady what... Or, sir? I don't know. Uh, what you doing? What are you doing? Just standing here, you see? Uh... Oh, I see. Do you know where Mount Cotram is? Yes. Can we have some directions? Yes. Well, tell me, please. Hmm, the Mount Cotram is only in winter time. Oh. Winter time? What are you talking about? Mm, of course, winter time. What do you think? But I can't wait for winter time. Oh, you don't wait. You go there. Oh. Well, how do we do that then? Ah, uh, sorry, but I'm no good at explaining things. Go down the stairs and then straight. You'll find a clockmaker. He can explain things. I think he tried with me before. Okay, thanks. Okay, it's a down then street, but what's this? There's another plaque. Must be a map of where we are. That must be, uh, the mountain. But for now... Oh! This is a pleasant little blacksmith's workshop! Oh, how nice! He said we're looking for a clockmaker, but that man is making some swards. That man and that man is peddling his woven goods. And this guy is selling food probably. We may have to come back here later. Aha! You must be our man. Hello, what are you doing? Hmm, working on my clock. Oh, I see. Sir, do you know where I can find the Great Lizard? No, miss. I do clocks, I fix clocks, I listen to clocks. Tick tock. Hmm. And do you know where the Mount Comber the Mountain Cotrim is? The Mountain Cotrim only exists in wintertime, otherwise it's just a regular mountain. 
I can't wait for winter. The king said that the wizard would be in the mountain coach room. You don't need to void for winter. It's in to come. That's absurd. Time is indefinitely layered and is an indefinitely layered reality. Well then, what the hell should I do? Because I don't have my duo teen. And even then, I don't want to see this place on duo teen. It's too nice. Oh, a layered reality? That sounds great. What should I do then? Go to the big clock and change the season. Just change it. Where's the clock? Well, go towards the castle, but turn your left when you see the stairs. You'll find a big clock on the tree. Good luck. Thank you, sir. You're very nice. Bye. Huh. I'm getting a... I'm getting... I'm getting a Legend of Zelda Oracle of Seasons vibe from this. Let's go around a little more, though. Can we... Oranges give me a headache. Huh. Maybe you have some sort of weird allergy. Just poking around just a bit. There's a boat maker here. Hello, boat maker. Good day, sir. Good day, little creature. I've seen flying boats, sir. How does that work? Think about them floating on water, but instead of water, it's on air. It's so simple. Hmm. And could I borrow one of your boats to fly away? I want to go home. Oh, go home? I see. Sadly, these boats only work with the other sneeze. Oh, I see. Well, thank you, sir. Have fun making your boat. All the people here are very nice. I'm I'm scared for when it may inevitably go to shit. Is this, is this, can we play a game with the slug? Hello. Good day, young one. What you doing? The war is about to start, and I can't see the meaning in the I can't see meaning in the meaningless. What do you mean? Join me, young one. You'll be rewarded with one golden coin if you come back alive. Join you? Join you to where? The game is about to begin. You are the kind, you are the kind, you are the Kamalas. I am the Valdokas. Black and white, my shadows and light. Oh, it's a board game. Yes, a board game. Let's immerse in this adventure. You win it, you against me. I give you a coin if you win it. What do you say? Uh, sure. How do I play? First, place three of the same figures in a diagonal, horizontal, or vertical lines. We toss the machinery and see who begins. Are you in? Okay, so it's like tic-tac-toe. I like this game. Oh, time is cold, and I'm very old. I've been around a very long time. I just want to have a good time. Okay, sure. Let's let's, let's play a quick game. Okay, he's going first then. Uh, hmm. Hmm. I win. Yeah. Oh, we're playing again. Okay, I guess it's like best two of three or something. Wait, what? Hmm. Oh, shoot. Oh, well. Alright, this one decides it. Ah, shit, I think it's a draw. Yep. Okay, tiebreaker. Son of a bitch, we're gonna be at a stalemate. We're gonna be. Oh, wait, nope, they win. Okay. Best two out of three, you won. Well done, little creature, you're a master. 
Eh, not really. You still won. That was fun. That was a nice little diversion, though. Anyway, uh... So, yeah, we just have a gold coin. That's nice. We have, okay, we have one, so apparently we'll be able to, like, buy stuff? Which sounds nice, but, you know. Oh! Oh! That's cute! There's a, there's a little bug on a leash. That's cute. Oh, God. And our little leafy pigtails. Ah, uh, I like this place. Hello, lady. Is there any news? Good day. Would you like to read the newspaper? I can't read. <laughs> Can't read if there's um, what's the if there's language called? Oh, don't you know what's called it? There's an, it, it. This place's name is very hard to pronounce. Ethernish, Ethernish. Are you a tourist? <laughs> yes, I am a tourist. My name is Fran. I've never seen a tourist before, and I've never seen a Fran either. Welcome to Ethersta. I'll do a lot of fun here. I am having fun. This, this place is nice. Are you having fun, Mr. Midnight? You told me that we have to find the mountain courtroom to find the great wizard. Okay. Oh, wait, that was Mr. Midnight talking. Oops. Okay, so... I assume that we'll be able to, like, regularly screw around with this clock that, uh... The clockmaker was talking about, so let's see. It's very odd clock. Where are the numbers? Simple in colors, but it doesn't seem to show time. Well, I mean, the guy told you how to use it. Do we have to, like, find something to turn it with? Oh, no, wait. Here we go. Oh, it sounds like something broke. Uh oh. So, wait, he just told us to- hold on, let me, like, have that conversation with that guy again and make sure I'm not, like, doing something wrong. I have a little problem. Yes, I don't have any- the clock broke. There's a clock on the tree, it's broken, I can't make it work. A broken clock? That's a disgrace! Poor clock. You have to help me. Please fix it for me. I beg you, I have to go home. I never fix the clock for nothing. Otherwise, my life's, my life's time goes to waste. Uh, what do you mean? I charge one big golden coin per clock. Time is gold, you know. Well, I have a golden coin. Oh yes, but you have to offer me a job first, alright? Do it, and be polite. Oh, sir clockmaker, will you please fix my clock? In exchange for this piece of gold in the name of, a uh, time? I beg of you, accept my offer. Of course, that was an incredible job offer. Very passionate. Great, let's go to the big clock and fix it. Oh, he's surprisingly short. Okay. But yes, let's, let's go get that clock fixed. Hmm, you're right, the clock is broken. You can fix it, right? Of course, just a second. Uh, oh, no, oh, dear Jesus. Hmm, yes, hmm. Oh, there. What is it? Seems that somebody was playing a dirty game around this clock. What do you mean? I mean, somebody broke it. It's immoral, breaking a defenseless clock. Ugh. Why would somebody break it? Camelus, Winter, Mountain Cotrum, The Stones, many reasons, miss. What are you talking about? I don't understand. Camelus, the evil darkness. They worked for Remar, the terrible black. And Camelus are the only ones allowed into this land. The only evil we have around. You don't surprise me. Remar wants the stones, but what I don't understand is... For what purpose? Those stones are meaningless for him and his kingdom. And the stones in winter are in winter time. 
Do you remember a giant plug monster with a goat mask? A dead goat mask? Yes. You know him? Well, I guess we'll have to stop calling him Satan now. Yes, I, I think it's because of him I'm in this land. I'm a human, you know? Oh, a human. Now I understand. I also need the stones. They're my way back home. I hope it's not too late. Aha! That's why you need to go into winter time and go to Mount of the Mountain Cultrum. Yes, exactly. I have to talk with the Great Wizard and borrow the stones. Hmm. Well, it's fixed now. I'll give you something that'll make it easier for you. Here. Huh? It's a remote control for the clock. Oh, that's convenient. You'll be able to travel into all four seasons in just a quick turn. But it's just a prototype, so it may not work if you're too far away. And remember, time is an infinite layered reality, so be careful. I'll be careful. Thank you very much. You're a very nice clockmaker, guy. Please, call me Cogwind. Alright, Mr. Cogwind. I'm Fran, by the way. See you soon. Bye! Okay, so this is basically our equivalent of duo team for this area. So let's see... Summer. Autumn. Ooh, autumn and rain, too. I remember seeing shadows with winter. Hmm. I think I'm gonna switch it to autumn. I'm gonna go see if I- I'm gonna see if I can't go, uh, into the library. See if we can't do us some learning. Oh, this place is still so pretty, though. Okay. Hello. Oh. Stop right there. Do you have the password? Uh, what password? The library password, of course. You must have it to come inside. Do you know who has the password? Yes, the great wizard, of course. He knows everything. Hmm. Alright, I'll see if I can find the password then. Why? Well... Piss. Looks like we're going to the mountain coach room anyway. Can we see what's out here? Wow, this is a bit scary, but it's so beautiful. Mm-hmm. The idea of just, like, flying around in little rowboats actually sounds kind of fun, honestly. So... I guess what I gotta do is just straight up switch it to winter. snow and ice. I can't sail with this one. Hmm. Maybe we'll have to use that when it's like spring or summer? Well, I don't have any need to climb that ladder. Let's see. What does this sign read? Shows a mountain. Must be a mountain coachroom. What's over here? It's real Reach then, reach age. Yeesh. They are crowned with the shield. So this must be somebody's crowning ceremony. Oh wow, what are you? You look like the fairies in my books. The purest of feelings, the light of all material, they are Valokas. Oh, you're very shiny, and you make me feel so happy. So very happy. The creature, one of the young Valokas will receive the shield. witnessing a special moment. Soldier of the sun, creature from the soil, fruit from the seed. Let the universe illuminate you with the truth and be free. Where are you all going? 
We continue our paths into life. May freedom be with you, my friend. Sir, or miss, can you do magical things? The universe is already doing magic all the time. You are full of magic yourself. But I wish to know things, and it's odd. I feel like you know everything. We are the light. We are everywhere. What answers are you looking for? I want to know who killed my parents, and why that big monster is hunting me. The truth will come to those who seek. Your path towards truth is immense. You are living in a world that turns its back to you. You are too fragile in the face of truth just now, and too strong to let it go. But... Oh, poor Fran. Dear, don't be sad. We have to keep going. Oh, poor Fran. Yes, kitty. You're right. So what is this, then? Oh! Cool. It's the arms of the great big Volokas, so I'm wondering... Maybe... We have to move all of these out of the way? Maybe there's something in my book about this? Nope. Hmm. I wonder if this is just gonna play into something that we'll have to do later then. Let's just head up to the mountain then. Oh hey! They're back. There they go. Okay, so what's in here then? Great wizard? Oh, are you the great wizard, sir? Hmm. Are you? Because if you are, then we need to talk. Sorry, should I go, sir? You have too many questions. That's good. Uh. Oh, sorry, sir. The king told me you could help me. But the king says we do. Hmm. I need you to lend me the stones that open a door to my world. The stones are missing, and I... I don't remember where they are. Every dinner and every time they seek, I hide. Every time I hide, I forget. So they can't be found. They? You mean the black shadows, sir? I just want to know the biggest answer of them all. How does the rabbit do it? I saw it once. A human did it. The rabbit came from an empty hat. How? This is the greatest question of them all. You put the rabbit in the hat to begin with. Because if nothing exists, then nothing exists. But if the nothing exists, there is no nothing. Wonder it again. How? Sir, why don't you ask the person who did it? Oh, I have a visitor. Good day. What brings you to the Great Wizard? Wait, huh? Wasn't he the... Yeah? That means it's me, so just, just so you know. Good day, sir. The king sent me here for the stones. The stones? Ah, it's been a long time since somebody came around asking for those. I made the most fantastic spell of all time so no one could find them. Why would you do that? You know, the Black Shadows, the Camelas, they try to steal them all the time. So I have to be sure. But sir, I need the stones. This isn't my home. Hmm, the stones are hiding. I only remember the four riddles that are connected to the stones. Four riddles that will unlock my memory. Only when all four riddles are answered correctly, I will be able to tell you where to find the five items. These items are the stones in their layered reality. Then, the only one who can bring them back is me. I see. Well, tell me the riddles. There's no time to lose. Let me show you. Star of Etherstar, Om Kaple, the greatest the greatest guide of the sky, the greatest caretaker of this land. 
Oh wow, that sounds great! I'll give you the four riddles written down in the language of everything. The answer is always one item. Place the items on the starter of Vithrista on their respective symbol. After that, with all that, I'll be able to tell you where the stones are. Okay. Well, thank you very much, Sir Wizard. Oh, Sir Wizard, the king told me that you can make me human again. Did he? Hmm, I think that's true, but I barely remember how to do it, though. You don't remember? But I can't go home like a tree. I understand, but I can't help you right now. I have to recover some of my knowledge. Perhaps we can try to make you human again after you find the first stone. Oh, that would be incredible! Yes, incredible and great! Just try to figure out the riddles, and I guess everything will be fine. Sir, do I need something special to become human? Hmm, I think the smell is very important, if I remember correctly. So bring me your clothes, and we'll see how it goes. Okay. Alright, sir, I'll bring you my clothes later. Bye! Okay, so we gotta go back to where we initially landed in Ithrista. Find us our clothes. First, let's take a look at these riddles. Let's see. I'm, I'm cold as I am, but you use me. I'll be a man, but if you use me, I'll be burning hard. I'm shiny as the sun, but I'll never burn you. Perhaps a sour smile, I'll end, and perhaps a sour smile, I'll get you. Flow, flow, cold-blooded sun. Let your body dance through the rising stream. Light and hollow, I'm the freedom of birds and pen and the pen of men. Okay, so that last one is a feather. As for the as for the other three, I may have to think about it. Hmm. Then again, cold as I am, if you use me, I'll be burning hard. Maybe that's like... I don't know, dry ice? I don't know about the second one. And I don't know about the third one. So I guess we'll be puzzling those out next time on Let's Play Franbo. If you guys think you may have the answer to one of these riddles, please feel free to let me know what you think it might be in the comments. Until then, I will see you guys then, and take care. Thanks for sticking around till the end. If you like what you saw, please consider leaving a like, a comment, or maybe even subscribing and hitting that subscribe bell. If you want to see more of my content, there are some recommendations for you on screen right now. See you soon!